hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can create your own bagnet ip device using python okay so you can use python language to create your own bagnet ip device and then you can simulate it and then after using your any bagnet client software you can communicate with that device and you can test your systems okay so our flow will be like this our python is installed in our system we are going to create a backnet ip device okay we will create some tags i mean we call it object in the backnet protocol so we will create some objects and then we will update the present value of those object randomly and then we are going to see that value in our backnet client software and the backnet client software i'm going to use is the yab y a b E, okay i will provide the link of this software in the description of this video you can go there you can download and you can test it okay so let's go with our code so here is my code if you want to download the code and if you want to get this notebook then you can get it from our github repository i will paste the link of our github repository in the description of this video just check it out and you can download this notebook so in the first cell we have imported the necessary library and function which is required to create a bagnet ip device okay so let's run this so we have run this and so far we didn't got any error so it is absolutely fine all library all the function is imported successfully now if you have worked in the opc protocol or modbus protocol we have some tags okay and the tag value are updating and we are going to read those tag value and we are doing some analysis based on those tags so in the backnet protocol we don't call it tag we call it object okay so this is how the object look like so our first object is analog input type of object and the object id is 10 object name is frequency you can select uh, the unit of that tag here okay and you can also provide the description of this tag here and then after you can preset the object value okay you can also modify it later on also but you can preset like zero this uh, i mean initial value is 18 or you can also set to some different level okay so i have created this analog input object here also analog input object again analog input and you can see analog output objects binary output binary input okay so i have created four types of object here and we will see the status of those object in our backnet client software so here is our backnet client software y a b e okay so this is how this function will create our objects okay it will define our objects now we have to assign those object in our device so before assigning these objects to our device we need to create our device okay so we will scroll down here and you can see here define device okay so we have defined our device here so device one is equal to connect and this connect come from here from back zero import light and connect you can also use light you can also use connect if you are using raspberry pi then you can use light and if you are using windows system okay or heavy machinery then you can use connect for better performance okay so now we will scroll down and here you can see we have provided ip and the subnet mask and then port number and then device id okay so you are wondering why i have put this ip address here so if i open my command prompt here and i feel config sorry if config uh, sorry ip config ah uh, yeah you can see my system ip address is 192.168.1.2 and here is my subnet mask okay so if you mix this up then you will get this 192.168.1.2 and 24 is related to my subnet mask okay i have provided it here and then this is the back zero port okay i will come to this port later this is the back zero port okay and we have given the device id here so whatever backnet device we are creating this will be our backnet device id okay so here we have created a device now whatever 
object we want to assign we have defined the function here and in the return we are getting those objects so we will call this function here and then we will assign all those objects to our device one okay so if i run this cell then you can see here the logs okay defining objects is not defined so let me restart my kernel because we didn't run this cell okay so restart kernel and clear all output okay we have to run again so okay okay so you can see here the device is up and running okay and the object is already assigned okay you can see here adding frequency to application barometer to application so all of our object is assigned to the device now our device is up and running okay this is the code for simulation but before simulation we want to see this device so we are going to open the uh, backnet client software and then you can click here add device okay here you can see back zero okay so this port number 4780 is is equal to bac0 okay bac0 if i click add here then you can see device 1110 is available here and why 1110 because we have kept our device id as 1110 so that is why this device is available here and also you can see 192.168.1.2 our ip address and 47808 our port which we have defined here okay now if i go to backnet client software and if i click on this device you can see bsc 01110 our device is here and then you can see we have four analog input one analog output two binary input and two binary output which we have defined here so if i open it parallelly yeah you can see here this is the first analog input okay so analog input and you can see the instance 10 okay also instance 10 so if i click here then you can see the name is appear frequency if i click on the second one you can see humidity okay and then if i click on the third one then you can see the barometer okay if i click on the fourth one then you can see the temperature so the temperature is here okay now analog output so here you can see analog output gas resistance so if i click here then you can see gas resistance okay so this is how whatever object you are going to define here that will be available here and also binary two binary outputs so two binary outputs and two binary inputs okay so everything is available here and if i drag and drop the frequency object to here you can see the value is 18 which we have preset here okay frequency value present value 18 if i drag and drop the barometer you can see the value 19 because we have preset it okay and the third one is humidity if i drag and drop you can see 21 which we have preset okay and then temperature so drag and drop and you can see 20 because we have preset it now i want to update this value i want to simulate this device okay so i want to test my other clients this this is the one of my client okay yeb is our backnet client software but suppose you are working on scada you are some working on some building automation project and you want to test with your client that communication is fine or not then you can use this kind of python script to create a backnet device and then you can simulate the values so to simulate the values we have to run this while loop okay so what while loop will do we have a device one okay and then we have a frequency object okay and we have a present value of our frequency object we want to update this value between 5 to 100 okay and the same for temperature okay and then we are going to print the value in the logs so let me run this one okay you can see the value is changing every two seconds okay you can see you can see the latest value here 67 17 98 32 
okay so our python code is sending update to those tag okay the change it is changing the value of those tags and our device is now simulated device we can connect different software and then we can you know, check the connectivity connectivity between our backnet device and our backnet client software okay so this is how you can create your own backnet ip device with the help of python language okay you will get this notebook in the github repository okay i will provide the link of github repository in the description of this video so you can use this code to create your own backnet ip device okay so if you still have any question or any doubt that how you can create your own backnet device and how you can simulate it you can ping me on the whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere and also you can comment me in the comment box so until our while loop is running we are going to get this update here okay if you want to disable the print then you can disable the prints here okay so i hope everything is clear in this video that how you can create your own backnet ip device and then how you can simulate it okay now coming to port okay so here i have told you that 47808 is a back zero protocol okay but what if here i write 47809 okay so let me restart and clear my kernels okay uh, let me delete this device first okay let me remove device okay here delete object fail to delete okay let me close it and let me open yev again okay now as you can see here we have changed our port to 47809 now what will be the difference if i change the port from 47808 to 47809 okay so let me run this so i have run this one this one this one our device is ready okay now if you want to connect with this device with the port number 47809 you need to open your backnet client software and then you have to click on add device previously we have selected bac0 okay back zero now you have to select bac1 and then you have to click on add then after you will get this device okay if you select bac0 again then you will not get this device so if i close this and if i open again and if i add device with bac0 port you can see no device will be available to connect okay so that is the meaning of this port if you select 47808 it means it's it your bac0 first port i mean first in the sense the very first port and then if you select or if you choose 47809 then it will be your bac1 port okay so this is the um, difference between the port numbers so still if you have any doubt then you know where to ask okay so i hope everything is clear you can also change the device id here nothing to worry about this device id but whenever you change the port you need to select it here okay so instead of back zero we have to select back one and then we have to add it okay so i hope everything is clear to you and if you still have any doubt then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video in the next video we will see how you can create your uh, backnet to mqtt publisher okay so you are reading data over the backnet protocol and then you want to publish those data in the mqtt protocol so this is the one kind of major project and the second one is how you can log your backnet device data in the sql database okay we are going to do it everything with the python okay so we are going to read data from backnet device and then we are going to publish the data over the mqtt protocol with the python and same we are going to read it uh, backnet data from python language and then we are going to log it into the sql database so we will see that in the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you